Hi, and welcome to Horn Trader on YouTube. Today, my special guest is a Canstall. Zig Canstall made this horn in conjunction with uh, Dennis Najum. This is the French Besson. I think they actually might call it the classic. Um, it's got some very interesting uh, aspects to this horn. It's got the Najum pipe, and it's got the reversed lead pipe so that means that the uh, the uh, tuning slide goes over the outside leg of the tuning slide or of the uh, lead pipe sorry I know it gets a little confusing so that's how it mates up so we got a nice free blowing horn and if that's not enough it is a 462 bore so it's a large bore a lot of people think this horn is a, um, um, you know, a classical horn. Uh, it's a fine horn. No matter how you shake it up, it's a very nice horn. I don't know if Zig makes them anymore. Maybe he makes them for um, uh, Besson or Buffet, one of those guys. This serial number on this horn is 5362. It's got a, uh, looks to me like an aftermarket Amato style water key. Uh, the classic lever on the tuning slide. It's got great compression. Fast valves. beautiful sound with a more legit mouthpiece it's a gorgeous sounding horn With the Horn Trader uh, Jazz mouthpiece, a whole nother color. So, American made, large bore with a beautiful sound, beautiful intonation, great valve action. Okay, it's got a few little pings, and let's see if we can pick some of those up. Yeah, you can see that one right there. Maybe the bell's not perfect. You can see, oh, yeah, right there. Actually, I think some of this stuff could be addressed by a good repairman, and uh, I would say 99% of all that you see right now could be repaired to be looking cosmetically perfect. These are minor little things. Anyhow, you'll find this horn in the B-flat trumpet section of horntrader.com. Thanks a lot for listening. We'll see you on the next one.